history of the program. Energetic, passionate, said his team played scared, intimidated the first time that they were swept on the road up in the Bay Area taking on Stanford. Said he almost expected them to maybe pause and ask for their autographs. And they've been very real now about who Stanford is. They understand their talent. Matter of fact, Ben Neal makes it clear. They're number one in every category. We understand that. Even the advanced metrics, we just have to make them uncomfortable. Jump out early if we're able to. The Stanford team certainly can be intimidating, but ASU has played this year, including a win over fifth-ranked Oregon, like a team that can hang. Let's enjoy it together. Katie Baird will start it with the serve, the outside hitter and the redshirt senior. And a beautiful touch that dies, almost campfire style in between, and the first kill puts Stanford up. Aliyah Rubin from Marymount High School in Brentwood, California, just a sophomore with that kill a moment ago, hoping to go on a bit of a run as Baird. That's the decision making we talked about with Shields. So six times this year, she has had four or more kills. There's your setter, Shannon Shields. But you can also give her 58 kills on the year. And don't kid yourself, Miner will do the very same on the other side. Jelly Sear, big points earner, plays well above her height, starts it with the serve. Abello out there digging that one out. Beautiful choice on the touch. Just a dink by Levinska. 346 kills on the year, about four and a half per set. She hit just 172, and they held her to only seven kills up in the Bay Area against Stanford in their loss earlier. Just seven kills. So they did their job. Jelly with the serve again, the Texan. It's in front of Claire Jeter. Dug out very nicely by Mary Schroll. Abello unafraid of the hands with a big swing. Talented Sun Devil out of Brazil. Again, decision-making shields works out well. Chasing 60 kills on the year. They're expecting the set to Jeter. Jeter watched it dive right in between four Cardinal. Nice little run now for ASU. Three won the number. <laughs> Dug out nicely by Sierra on the big swing. Habello looks at that Stanford defense, and it's there with the answer. Right at the attack line. And an error that time. 3 2. Levinska hits 343 on the year. That's an improvement of her previous seasons. Elena Oglevy from Honolulu. Talented libero. She's got 25 aces on the year. The hands were there. Habello, again, another swing at it. Off the side. Unbelievable play by the native of Latvia. And she'll take a swing at it now, end up with a kill. But it was her defensive play. I'm not going to say it was accidental by Levinska, but. A dig not the way you had scripted a moment ago, then she ends it with a kill. 4-2 is the number. She got it just off her bicep there to keep it alive. There Jeter serves it. Hammered. What a beautiful and powerful swing that was. Sammy Francis, the junior from San Diego, California. That middle blocker has got close to 70 blocks this year, but she's she's good for two kills per set this season. A nice addition to the offense. She hits 351. A little bit of miscommunication there between the Devils. Had Levinska just dumping it over. Abello right into the hands, and she earns a kill. That's the one thing Van Neal said, we cannot fear the hands. This is such a talented and tall and athletic team. We have to go at those hands. And that's what Habello did. She was rewarded 5-3. The Devils on top. Five seasons at USC for Van Neal. On the coaching staff there before earning this opportunity. Had all spring with these athletes, and that made a difference. 
Quick joust at the net is freed up. Kept alive by Shields that time. That swing in and out of the hands. And again, attacking those hands. 6 3. Stanford, two kills and nine swings, hitting 222. ASU, six of 13, one error. It was Levinska's error, hitting 385 very, very early in this one. And there's an ace. This team all year long has been a dangerous team as it pertains to service. And it's been a big part of who they are. Amongst the top in the conference all season long in aces. And Neil said, the first moment I looked at this team, I, I knew as they can't deal with that one at all. Kendall Kipp goes to work, the two-time All-American. But then Neil, just to finish the quick thought, he said, when did you realize that serving was going to be one of your areas of focus? He said, the first practice, we went to work on it. And they've improved markedly, it's become important. Beautiful. Kept alive on the other side. Just outside that line. Tried to cut that one. Unable to do so effectively. 8-4 Devils. That was Baird there. Baird who hits 290 on the year. Also an All-American. Jillian Neal's turned out to be a great story. Hadn't played at all prior to October 1st. Now the freshman because of her ability to serve, has earned an opportunity to play in every single match since. Neal's been important. Kept alive by Schroll, but not long enough. Cardinal, battle back now. Stanford schedule, strength of schedule, number two in the nation. When you look at how they opened their season, it was Florida, it was Texas, it was Ohio State, Minnesota, Nebraska, and Louisville. That's before any conference play. And a service error into the net. There were losses, certainly. Florida in a sweep. Obviously, Florida with the key blow, losing their star setter. And Nebraska, a 3-1 loss, but that's it. This team, 18-2. 29 conference wins in a row for Stanford. Shocking when you think about this conference and how deep it is, and even this year. Beautiful dig by Elia Rubin. Clock error It's Washington State and what Oregon State did against Washington, but otherwise, as you can imagine, Stanford Continues that perfect run on the road, ASU, and picks up their 20th win of the season. USC improved to 7-4 and four on the year. Some of the numbers, and we'll keep an eye on a lot of the actions going on right now within this conference. Schroll dug out a bullet. I mean, an absolute bolt and a beautiful dig that time. She's alive and well as it sneaks through the hands. Sear runs into a wall with a big swing. A little punch deep. That one, a little bit too deep. And that's attack error number two for the Cardinals. As a matter of fact, if you look at Levinska, she's got four kills in this match. Stanford has four kills as a team. Again, this is a slower starting team. It has happened before, and then they get rolling. So you get while the getting's good. And that's really your only choice when you're dealing with the Cardinal. Such a deep team. As that one again, attack the hands, and this was something J.J. knew they'd have to do. It's, it's, it's one thing to wish an approach and to practice. It's another thing to be able to do it within the match, and they're doing it so far to the tune of 12-5. Schroll, the graduate student from Tempe, Arizona, started it with the serve. Just a quick over by Levinska. Roll with a one-handed dig after a big swing. Just a little bit too strong, too firm off that back line. Ruben took a shot at it. 
sophomore, the talented athlete. And on that U21 national team, won gold at the Pan Am Cup. He's had some big matches against ASU, just that swing a little bit too strong. Block error that time, gets Stanford back in the right direction. See if they can create some momentum. Kemi Minor will start it with the serve. And he's got 17 aces on the year. The junior from Redondo Union High School in Southern California. An incredible play to her. That's Cheater with the kill. Blair, a great defender, but when called upon offensively, it's a hammer. You see how they set number 23 from Missouri City, Texas. One and three quarters kills per set this year, Claire Jeter. And Jeter, that time, the defender. She had some help closing out the block by Jelly Sear. But Claire Jeter with the block that time. Chasing 100 on the year, she's got 19 solo. That is her. Indianapolis, Indiana, Perry Meridian High School. Two times she's been an All-American. She had 560 earlier this year to Katie as she serves it against Ohio State in a match in which she had 15 kills. Second service error for Stanford. Point Devils, 16-7. Both these teams will backline attack some, and it's going to be interesting to watch. They're so athletic. Here at that time, point Cardinal. 16-8. As a matter of fact, both of these teams are just a tick over 10% backline attack, and they do it with effect. When you look at teams that are confident enough to do that as we see just what we're talking about that backline attack a moment ago not that time front line Habello with the kill Roberta the senior from Puerto Alegre in Brazil 170 kills on the year that's her number and that big swing you knew she'd be important here there is the ace for Jeter. You knew Habello to finish the thought would fit in when she had two matches of 17 kills as a freshman against her rivals from Arizona. Her very first year when coming from Brazil. Jeter's 20th ace. Let's say you up 18-8. In and out of the hands. 18-9. Stanford hitting just 148. Rubens got three kills. Levinska on the other side for ASU with five. Kendall Kip with the serve. And Habello with the crush. Over the 400 kill mark earlier this year in her career. More than 200 digs in her time here. She had five kills and a couple of blocks in the sweep of Cal on Friday night, did Habella. Answer there, there was a wall for ASU. At that time, great reaction from Sammy Francis on a beautiful set. Pac-12 All-Freshman team a couple of years ago. Well, that was machine-like, wasn't it? It's a pretty set from Cami Minor. More than 850 assists on the season. A little bit too firm on that one. Scholes had a really big match as she digs it out. Down to her knee and a pretty dig by Ogilvy. Block at the net, Cardinal. Not a roof, but not far off. 
2010. Big swing that time by Francis. Joust at the net. Sear with the gentle touch. Jelly just in self-defense could do nothing with that hammer. Beautiful 2011. Trying to go on a run now, hitting 182. Alternating points to put it here. Three of the last five have gone to the Cardinal. They'll need to do better than that. Maddie McLaughlin comes in for ASU. Beautiful effort. Leaving her feet that time by Ruben. But a kill by Levinska. Marta hit 482 against Cal on the first day of this month. A dangerous left hander. They always talk about the southpaw Randy Johnson in the desert. This is a, another southpaw, as baseball's been a big story in this city, of course, lately. But that southpaw from Latvia, they love her here on campus. The offensive heart and soul. Kip trying the gentle touch. Jeter on the other time tries the same thing. Leaving her feet kept alive by Shields. Beautiful set, crushing swing, Baird with the kill. Playing in her 60th set this year, Katie Baird. He's got 1,200 kills in her strong career. 21-12, they continue to alternate points. That'll be just fine for ASU. Stanford needs a run. Sear, thwarted on the other side. Beautiful effort as that one is wide. That doesn't happen without Ogilvy. Jelly Sear with the big swing, but Ogilvy came in with four plus digs per set. That was one of the biggest ones. Back to back points now for the Cardinal for the first time in quite a while. 21 13. They thought about letting that one fly, but Cromarty made the right decision. Joust for a moment. From the attack line, a big swing dug out. And the Devils make it 23. Check that 22 13. Watch this one more time. See the dig by Shields, the setter. Ooh. Beautiful because that was a long set and very athletic in Sear to pick up the kill. Twenty-two fourteen. Levinska with the service air. Baird's got 24 aces this year. And 49 now service errors. Check that 40 service errors. 23-14. Jelly will serve it. Stanford, 23-15. Elena Oglevy. Speaking of baseball fans, you've got to be a deep one to remember slugger Ben Oglevy. That's Elena's great uncle. Magical season, some of them with the Milwaukee Brewers back in the 80s. That Oglevy name, baseball fans hear that, they think about that as well. Levinska with a crushing swing. Not a whole lot Katie Bear could do. We're at set point. 
Claire Jeter starts it. Not done yet. The All-American Kip fights with her team. She had 15 kills, 11 digs, three blocks back on September 29th in the sweep of ASU. And Kip started it with the serve. Abello ends it. Set number one goes. Stanford undefeated on the road this year. Let's see what this does. Let's see how the Cardinal punch back. Stanford up in the Bay Area, they did all they could to stop her, unable to do so in this one. As a matter of fact, Levinska's got those seven kills. And that number is to eight now, so eight overall. Katie Baird's got five for Stanford. Now this was the advertisement that Stanford is a program that at times can not always start slow and that's what has happened they obviously had a sweep of Arizona they lost a set 10 22 to Oregon understandable they lost a set to UCLA on 10 15 Washington Washington State each grabbed a set but that's it Two-time Pac-12 Coach of the Year. Back in 18 and in 22, Kevin Hambly. He was the head coach at Illinois, very successful for eight seasons. 178, just lost 86 times there. Six NCAA regional appearances. Illinois went to the finals in 2011. First time in a quarter century Illinois had gone that far. Went all the way to the national semis. Here we go. Set number two. And right away, Stanford with a nudge. McKenna Vicini. The middle blocker came on, got a swing at things that time. Vicini, who has 90 kills, 1.3 kills per set, but also has 90 blocks. Handed right back though, service error, point Devils, 1-1. One, one. And the strength of schedule, as we mentioned, definitely features Stanford at the very top of it in this conference. Other top 10 teams within this conference that have dealt with big schedules. In and out of the hands, so Levinska keeps it alive. Great effort there. Outside the sideline. Joel punches that one up in the air. Did she mean to? We'll ask Marta. But sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Looked like she got it off the heel of her hand here. Keeps it alive. That's the great effort. And then we take you to the kill where the back set, kind of a miss hit. But the miss hit that was to perfection. Another accidental point. They're sharing them back and forth. Kind of ended up surprising as that one sailed over the net. ASU. Oregon's strength of schedule is nine on the year. Washington State is six. Those are the three teams, including Stanford, that are within the top ten, taking on, prior to conference, the toughest of schedules. Through the hands, Sear with the kill. Kelly's from Flower Mound, Texas. Second on this team in points per set, second to Marta Levinska. She stands 5'10", plays much, much taller than that. And she knocks that one into the net, 26th service error on the year. ASU, and, and I think you can understand this if you're J.J. Van Neal. ASU strength of schedule not quite as challenging, but they've responded within the conference. Their strength of schedule overall is 50th in the nation. An ace. Threading the needle. Big swing that time by Ruben. 23rd ace of the year. California's 2021 Gatorade Player of the Year. Aliyah, the daughter of Tara and Justin Ruben. 
Just take another shot at it. Boy, that's a tough serve. Jeter with the kill. Four for the number. Jeter, her third kill. And Claire will serve it. There's mom played junior college volleyball at San Jacinto. Crushed. Sammy Francis. Sammy's from La Jolla Country Day School, San Diego, California. A couple of times was all CIF. Sammy played beach, played it well when she was younger. Sammy with a tough serve. Lock at the net. Hands were there. Vincini in front. Five four. Katie Baird right by Vincini as well as part of that block. Sammy serves it. Powerful swing that time. Habello. Been a bit of a coming out party for Roberta in this one. She's got five kills without a, a miss hit, hitting 417. A pair of digs as well. Levinska goes to work. She went right at Katie Baird and came out on the other side. Marta with 10 kills. There she goes. There's that number. That's now nine matches in a row, double digit kills. That swing wide, back set by Cami Miner. Miner, by the way, she's got 14 assists, shields the same number. Janet's got seven digs as well. She has been a defensive whiz. She's really helped out. But then again, so is that talented libero, Mary Schroll, as we saw her there a moment ago. Attack the hands, and Kitty Baird with the kill. Yeah, Mary Schroll made her way from Loyola Marymount. She has been a heart and soul player and fit in nicely. Now she's home, even though she played her four years at LMU, she ended up coming back home. She's from Tempe. Maddie with a swing. McLaughlin takes a swing at it. The New Yorker, 83 kills on the year. Maddie's also got 78 blocks. They'll use her offensively in the... Great opportunity, as we talked about, for Jillian Neal, who starts with the serve. Has earned more court time. Dad played in the NFL for the Patriots, Neal, for a long time. Won three Super Bowl rings. Cardinal answer back. Stanford, 78 and 7 all time against ASU. Last time ASU was victorious, the last time they pulled one out, that haunting day of Halloween back in 2021 here in Tempe. Halloween's a couple of days from now. Back-to-back -back points, Cardinal. Kendall. She's got four kills now. 9-8, Stanford on top. Kip 4 of 11, hitting 273. She's got six digs. Try to sneak it inside that corner line, unable to do so. That makes it 9 9. <laughs> Differential and service errors of three points. Stanford with five service errors. ASU with the pair. Here's Mary. Went to Corona del Sol High School, which is just a few minutes from here. Kept alive. Dug out beautifully by Cromarty. On the other end. 
Levinska tried to stuff it, couldn't do it. That time, Stanford ready up front. Vincini, the Lexington, Kentucky native. Number 14 on that jersey, the talented middle blocker. Kendall Kipp was there with her, helping her close things out. Is it a Cardinal run now? Oglavy starts it with the service. There it is, a block again. Sammy Francis. See Sammy. Close in together, she and Kip side by side. That's Kendall twice defensively, she's been there. Point doubles that time. Ogilvy a dangerous server, but also approaching 50 service errors this year as well. Vanita and Gunters, the parents of Marta Levinska. Flying through the air is Ruben with the kill. Ruben had 12 kills in 11 digs, hit 400 against ASU on September 29th. Her freshman year, she was so dynamic, Ruben. Five times was freshman of the week. But just when they get momentum, another service error, Cardinal. That's seven. Jelly will serve it. She had six kills, had 11 digs on Friday night. The advanced metrics love Jelly Sear and her able ability to impact a match. Shields freelancing. Talk about the vision, the decision making. It's one thing to be very well trained and almost look mechanical when you learn the sport, when you play younger, so much club volleyball, so many lessons, but then there's instincts. And plays like that for Shields. Did we get a net touch, antenna touch that time? Told. Started again. Instincts, though, for Shields. Have all the private lessons you want. Also got to go play on the beach and play in your backyard a lot. And that's where you see that come out the... the and she's a veteran. Shields a graduate student, played at Louisville initially. Was a big time state champion twice at Xavier College Prep here in town. Just outside the back line. That's eight service errors. Now that's something worth talking about. We're talking about a difference of five, five points altogether now in this match. Here's Claire Jeter. She transferred a couple of years back from Texas A&M. Even though a Texan found a home here. Beautiful job keeping it alive by Miner. Abello with the kill. Massive swing. Oglavy did all she could. 14-13 ASU. Nine times Stanford has won it all, NCAA champions. Just a soft bump that time, a little bit too firm. They served Katie Baird, and it was a good decision. And it's Baird with an air kicking that one wide. 15-13, ASU has already won the first set. Well, if you're J.J. Van Neal and you know your team played intimidated, Earlier this year on campus at Stanford, you're, I'm sure, pleased with how your squad has responded. You keep waiting, though, for the Cardinal to go on one of those patented runs. Statistically, there aren't many things. They don't lead this conference and the nation. And Jeter with a service air. If you like at any point, something will get them going. It's 15-14 ASU on top. They won the first set, 25-16. ASU hitting 339. 
Stanford 276. Minor was ready for Levinska that time. Nothing can be done about that swing. Just a little bit deep, though. Off the hands, off the back line. Point Cardinal Katie Baird with that swing. Katie Baird's had 26 kills in a match two times. Last time, last year, against Oregon State. Devils answer right back. Abello again. She's got seven kills. Only four total attack errors. I mean, to be fair, both of these teams, it's been the service errors that have been a bit of the undoing for Stanford, but pretty clean match. Is there space to keep it alive? Abello does. Great effort with a big dig. Hands answer, McLaughlin there. Minor tried to shove it home. Leaving her feet, big job. Schroll with her fingertips keeps it alive. That time, hammer. Katie Baird with the kill. I got Sparky sitting by me. Good luck charm here. I, I think he thinks he is. Sparky's bringing me notes. I'll focus on the match. Sparky will be my analyst. We're, we're, we, we've made TV now, Sparky. A little fist bump. We're on TV now. See? You, you made the monitor. <laughs> Shields. Levinska. Kept alive. Levinska with the kill. Love when Sparky stops by. Best color analyst there is. 17-16. Jillian Neals from San Diego. Played for Wave Volleyball, Del Norte High School. Stolen some playing time. So here, try to sneak it inside that back line with a big swing, crushed. Katie Baird. 17-17, that's 10 for Baird. Hitting 364 is Katie. Katie had 17 kills, four aces, and a win over UCLA. That was a four-setter earlier this year. Tough serve. Jelly Sear, hammer. Daughter of Annette and Ken. One of her big matches. She had 12 kills, 22 digs, a pair of blocks against Cal on the first day of October. A thousand kills, a thousand digs at Flower Mound High School in her career as a prepster. It was there for Sear on a tee, and she put it away. Bump a little bit too firm. That means it was a great serve. And a quick call at Clubhouse's Van Neal, but there's a whole second half of this season. And uh, getting to know J.J., those are things he doesn't even really think about. An analytical mind is able to touch the hearts of these athletes, but is very much into the science of the sport. Has that gift of doing a little bit of both. They play cards a lot. ASU squad, a big card playing team when they travel. Block in the net, Cardinal. The roof that time. Side by side, beautiful Kip and Ruben. The block has not been a massive story to this point, at least. Four for Stanford overall, one for ASU. Kendall tried to sneak one home, couldn't do it. See her again with just a touch on the other side. There's the block, just as we said, ASU hasn't leaned on it much. They've got Claire Jeter. She can be a wall, and a block at the net. ASU. Levinska serves, she'll serve at 
Boy, tough serve. Chin high that time. Tried to get the hands, cut that one at the same time, but it's wide. Point Devils. 21-18. And another timeout. See that more and more, you can imagine. As they get comfortable with one another and how they're attacking. And both of these teams, on occasion, will be backline attack teams, back row attack teams. Miss hit into the net, frustrated reaction there from Ruben. She knew she had it, and she couldn't cash in. 22-18, still plenty of time for the Cardinal, though. Levin's good to serve. Her kills per set have gone up the last three seasons. <laughs> Leaving her feet here. As that swing deep. Kendall took a shot at it. Kip's got four kills, three errors now, heading just 0-59. Two-time All-American, 23-18. Bavinska with a big dig. Sear on the other side, but hammered right back at him. Quick decision made again. Ash, we told you in the open because we've seen both these setters be so important doing things like that, but Shields has set the tone in her aggression. That's three kills for Shannon. Set point. Mara serves it. With emphasis, that time I'm not missing, said Ruben, and she didn't. Power, presence, 250 kills on the year. An ace. 24-20. Beautiful serve by Kendall Kip. And she approaches 30 aces on the season. Kip again. How about back-to-back -back aces? Here come the Cardinal. 24-21. And a quick call of timeout. Family, they've won 76 and lost just 11. But this year, outside of Maples, they're 12-0 on the road. They just don't lose on the road. Very few home matches for ASU. A lot of neutral sites, a lot of road matches. They just haven't played much at home. Back-to-back -back aces from Kip. Kendall again. Another tough one. Levinska, set two, goes to the Devils. They've got the Cardinal and their backs against the wall here at home. ASU. And they swept Oregon. As a matter of fact, there was that big moment in set number one where the true freshman, Jillian Neal, with a service ace, made it 27-25. They went on to win the next two. But Stanford's used to being the role of the evil villain at all times. You get the very best. Now, this is an elite conference, so I'm not trying to patronize ASU when I say this. It's just Stanford plays at the level where they get the very best of every opponent that they deal with. End of story. When you've won 11 of, of the last 17 conference championships, you're treated as you are the fill-in-the-blank team that everyone loves to hate. And that's... A joy, certainly, for Stanford. They wear it well. And so now, this is the ultimate challenge. They've got to pull together a sweep as that first service effort is deep by Anna Pringle, the sophomore from La Jolla, California. Yeah, there's no doubt when you're successful and you've won national titles and you've won this conference so often, 
You're used to getting the very best preparation and focus on the other side. That time through the hands. Cardinal with the kill, 1-1 one, one is the number. 31 overall kills for the Devils, 26 for Stanford. Stanford hitting 243. Jeter, beautiful little set by Shields. That was a quick up and over. There, Jeter offensively has been part of the story. That's her fifth kill. She'll also step up and be the block game, a big part of the block game. She's got a pair of blocks, but five kills for Claire Jeter. That one was just about over the net, and yet it was set so beautifully by Cami Minor to Sammy Francis. Francis had five blocks and six kills, hit 545 against ASU on September 29th. And another service error. That's 10. Three, two, ASU, Claire Jeter will serve it. Daughter of Rachel and Zach. I told you mom played college volleyball, dad played college football at Tabor College. Kept alive by ASU. Jeter anticipated that one from Kip. There's Kip again digging out Levinska. A little bit too much over and off the fingertips of Ruben. 4-2. Seven and 78 all time. ASU against Stanford. Incredible. Incredible play right there by Ruben to keep it alive. Two hits. Error that time. JJ Van Neal wants an explanation. Point Cardinal. Four, three, the number. Ruben serves it. 22 aces, and you can see why. Top two ace teams in the conference. Joel did all she could. There's not a lot you can do with a swing that firm, that strong, that powerful. And a pretty, pretty set from Miner. Sammy again with a big swing. Francis now with five kills. That's the 11th service error for the Cardinal. 5-4. Twenty wins already this season for ASU. Since the year 2000, they've had two 20-win seasons. But that's it, 20 wins. We're halfway through the conference. Lock at the net. McLaughlin, Abello. They've been setting Sammy a lot with effect, by the way. That time, ASU ready for it. Right into the hands of McLaughlin. She was ready for it. Maddie with another block. She goes over 80 blocks on the year now. She had five blocks against Cal on Friday. Maddie McLaughlin from East Aurora, New York, transferred in from SUNY Genesio. Psychology major. A little bit strong that time outside the back line. Katie Baird, point devils. He up a couple. Cal on the road. That, that would be a nice one in Oregon and Washington. You can see number nine ranked team in the land, Oregon and Washington. 
Leslie Gabriel's team has their hands full at home. Here, it's nothing short of stunning. Abello snuck it right through the hands and picked up a kill. Almost ended up with a top spin swing that time, which turned out to be perfect. Had it rolling downhill down those Stanford arms. Shannon Shields to serve. Shannon came in with 32 aces. Troll leaves her feet. That Black Devils jersey, that libero jersey. Troll keeps it alive, as does Sabello. Is there a play for the Devils? Somehow there is. Again, playing athletic, Cabello with a miss hit, got her fingertips that time. There's Schroll again. Levinska playing volleyball now, folks. This is a good one. Kip with a big swing. Look at these two teams. Buga, full squad put on display. This is Pac-12 Volleyball. So many moments on both sides where the athleticism and the instincts ended up with this. Kudos to both. I'm sure Stanford not celebrating as I did their efforts, but that was a fun run there. The ability to respond and make decisions if that one's outside of the antenna. But ASU has shown. It's interesting, they seem incredibly well coached, but then they also seem like a team that has been out back, back in the beach, just playing, just freelancing. There's so much trust, but they're really reacting well, really athletically trusting themselves. Power that time, an All-American caliber swing from Sammy Francis. Eleven five, Francis with six kills. We've got to put more service pressure on Stanford, said JJ. Got to keep them out of system. As that kill is picked up by Levinska, fifteen for Marta. JJ talked about we have got to side out at a very high clip as well. That's, as you can see, that serve by Jillian Neal's earned the chance. Roofed that time. Right back down to the hardwood. Levinska, McLaughlin. A little bit too strong for the talented freshman. We get a chance to see the athleticism of Cromarty as she comes on. Shania Cromarty from Tallahassee, Florida. Mississippi State transfer. She's had some dynamic moments this year. Playing in her 53rd set of the season. Kip couldn't put that one away. The hype and the anticipation of the Cardinal, just the fingertips sent it right back down, and it was with effect that time. 13-7. Nice little block, you can think about it by Vicini and Kip. Gentle block, if that's possible. Boy, a beautiful cut shot that time. Fourteen seven. Sixteen for Marta. She's hitting four oh six, by the way, needs to be mentioned. Yeah, she was a team hitting a clean and crisp three forty four. Fourteen eight. 
Katie Baird. Baird was a red shirt in 2019, the year her team won the national championship. There's a couple of players that were on that team. Kendall Kipp on that team. Pacini on that team. Fifth year red shirt seniors on that 2019 team. Beautiful answer at the net, side by side that time. Pacini speaking of her and Kip. Those two national champions as freshmen. We were just talking about you women. And a timely block for both that time. Kendall Kip just four kills in 23 swings, hitting 043. She's got four blocks. But she has not thrown the team on her back, not yet. There could be a ton of volleyball left to be played. Cardinal hopes so anyway. Little dink floats wide outside of the line from Levinska that time. 14-10. Stanford just seeking that small crack in the door. Just looking to sneak in and come in and join the party. When you think about how you second guess yourself, you start wondering what's next if Stanford wins this one, but then you have a moment like that. Beautiful. Jeter Levinska. Marta serves it. That was a tough one. Kip floats. Such athleticism. Takes that one home. Fifth kill for Kendall Kip. One of the greats to play within these uniforms. Dad, Harry, Mom, Kathy. Says Casey, volleyball at Santa Barbara. Conley played volleyball at Washington State. Somehow, Sear dug that big swing out. And takes one of her own. Levinska that time. Well, they're starting to anticipate Shields. How about that? Never do you game plan defending the setter, but that's exactly what they've got to do. Jelly Sear! Threads the needle. It's like she dropped it down a chimney this time. How in the world do your eyes see that? And then execute it. 16-11. It's Sear who earns the serve. It's Kip who is dug out by Sear. That's got to be frustrating. A beautiful swing. Attack line, fly through. Levinska with the kill. We told you both these teams are unafraid to back row attack. The issue, about 13% of the time. Stanford, about 12% of the time. They will back row attack. That one handed over, makes it 18-11. And a call of timeout, it's getting late. Kevin Ambley wants to talk with his squad. And the youngsters run around and have fun. ASU yes, you looking to make the point. We're not dressing up as a team that's playing like a champion. Do we get a net touch that time? Looked like we did a couple of hits, actually. That's what occurred. Point Devils, 19-11. Sear to serve it again. That's at that time minor, 19-11 the number. Still hitting over 300, 310 on the match, ASU. Big serve, great effort into the crowd, that's an ace. Sear makes it 20-11. Twenty two aces for Sear. She's 
She's got a pair today. Little floater. Kip got it going, sent it to the other side. Abello runs into some strong hands. Cardinal block. Francis, Sammy with Kip. 2012. Time for the Cardinal to go on a run. And this is the person that can do it. Tough serve of Kip. Just a little bit deep. Well, she looked to float it inside the back line. Just a little bit too strong on the touch. This beautiful brand new arena here at Mullen Arena has been a part of some great moments for this volleyball team. It's the home of the hockey team for ASU. But it's brand new. Another one. The ace game at six for ASU. Three for Stanford today. 22-12. It's going to take a heck of a run now. Down 10, then they got to win two sets after that for the Cardinal. Claire again. McLaughlin with the hands over the net. And they created a lift on the other side. Again, the number, 7 and 78. Now, Halloween, a couple of years ago, 2021, Halloween, it was a win for ASU. But that 7 and 78, it just looks you right in the eye. Power swing, angry swing, flying from that attack line. That's Kip. That's an international talent swing there. Unfortunately, you don't pick up five points for that one. It was beautiful to watch, wasn't it? Ruben with the serve. Abello, right back at you. Match point. Not yet. Stanford scratching, clawing, looking to keep it alive. Incredible turnaround season for ASU. This the big.